This is Ricky Harbor with Subset Electronics. During this tutorial, we will show you a brief overview of the Field Scout bore planning app and how to create a basic bore plan. Start by making sure you have downloaded Field Scout to your mobile device from the appropriate app or Play Store. If you plan on following along with us during this lesson, here are a few items you will need. Of course, you will need a mobile device with Field Scout downloaded from the appropriate store. iPhones must be 4S or later. iPads must be third generation or later. Field Scout will also be available for Android sometime during the first quarter of 2018. Whichever Android device you choose, it must support Bluetooth 4.0. Once you have Field Scout on your mobile device, you are ready to begin. Please feel free to follow along with this tutorial. You can pause any time you need by clicking on the pause button. We are now ready to open the Field Scout app. When you first open Field Scout, you will see this menu. I will go over each item briefly. Beginning with New Plan. This allows user to create a new bore plan. The plan part of the menu item allows selection of an existing plan. Send plan allows the user to choose between sending the plan via email. This comes in handy when a plan needs prior approval before beginning the bore. If using a GPS device while creating the plan, you can view the plan on Google Earth. And of course, you have the ability to send the plan to the Commander 7 display on the drill. The Connect menu items enables you to connect to the Commander 7 display on the drill so that plans can be uploaded and jobs can be downloaded. The connection process will be different depending on the mobile device you are using. If using an iOS device, iPhone or iPad, then you must make your Bluetooth connection through the settings menu on your device. Then you will connect using the display on this menu. If using an Android device, the connection is made from this menu. In the settings menu, you can adjust the units of measure for depth and distance, choose how temperature is displayed, and choose the application theme for best viewability. In the depths menu, you can choose between inches, feet and inches, decimal feet, centimeters, and meters. In the Units Distance menu, you can choose between feet and inches, decimal feet, and meters. While in the Temperature menu, you can choose between Celsius and Fahrenheit. The, the Theme menu allows you to choose between a dark theme or a light theme, depending on best viewability for you and your operators. In the contacts menu, users have the ability to add and store client information. The help menu gives you quick access to help information. An electronic copy of the operator's manual is also included in the app. <laughs> The About menu displays current software version and copyright information. And the Account menu allows access to the GreenOps account login to be able to view and manage any add-on features 
such as scout view and licensing information. Now let's review the tabs along the bottom of the app. The menu return icon will take you to the last used menu screen. The edit icon takes the user to the edit plan screen. The overhead view icon will take users to a map view of the waypoints and obstacles only if you have GPS data stored for each point. This will be covered in a later lesson. The profile view icon will take you to the planned and as-built profile graph view of the bore. And the last tab is the logged pipe app icon. Tapping this icon will take you to the as-built log data for each drill pipe. Now that we've done a quick overview of the menu and tabs, let's begin creating a basic bore plan using the wheel measured distances. During this bore plan, we will be measuring the distance for, for each waypoint and obstacle from our entry point. Start by selecting new plan from the menu. Now click on OK. Now you're ready to name your plan. You can now also add any description as no and notes as uh, needed. As far as plan type, we have two to choose from, the GPS calculated distance and the measuring wheel distance. For this tutorial, we want to use the measuring wheel distance as our selection. We will cover creating a bore plan with GPS in a later tutorial. Now we need to set our default drill pipe length. After that, be sure to set the minimum separation for the utilities you will be crossing. This defaults for all utilities and obstacles, so be sure to take that into consideration with this setting. For this tutorial, we will use one foot or 30 centimeters. You can also add additional information such as your client information, your information as the contractor, as well as your drill operator information. Now we're ready to add our uh, waypoints. So select the edit icon from the bottom of the screen. Next, select the add waypoint icon. You can choose between an entry point, a pay start, a standard waypoint, your pay end, or an exit point. You can see that an entry point is automatically added to the plan and the depth and distance defaults at zero. All other waypoints are measured from this first entry point. For this tutorial, we will now select pay start we need to change our distance to 25 feet and our desired bore depth to 3 feet. Next, we will select the Add Obstacle icon. Here are the obstacle choices. Electric, Gas, Oil and Steam, Communications, CATV, Water, Reclaimed Water, Sewer, temporary survey, proposed excavation, and other. Now let's select electric from the obstacle menu. Once we have that selected, let's fill in the distance from the entry point, our planned bore depth, as well as our obstacle depth. We can also tap the notes to enter any additional details. Field Scout will provide an audible, visual, and if available, a vibration warning notification if minimum separation distance is not maintained. 
The orange triangle warns us if the separation between the bore plan and the obstacle is within the set minimum. To add a photo to the obstacle, select the purple plus action button. Then select the camera icon. You now have a choice of taking a photo with your mobile device or choosing one in your photo library. Once you've taken or selected a photo, it will be tied to that obstacle or waypoint and will be printed in the report. Photos are not uploaded to the Commander 7 or integrated displays, therefore only viewable in Field Scout. Continue until all desired waypoints and obstacles are added to the board plan. You note here that uh, waypoint 3 has a photo attached. It's that little icon at the bottom left side of the screenshot. The user can now choose to lock the plan from editing by tapping on the padlock. This will prevent any accidental changes to the plan. To unlock, simply tap the padlock again and confirm that you want the plan unlocked. You can now select the profile view icon to view the planned bore with obstacles. You may want to rotate your mobile device to the landscape position for a better view. We are now going to send this bore plan for review and approval. Begin by selecting the menu return icon and the back button until you have returned back to the main menu as seen in this slide. Next, select the send plan button. The next screen gives you the option of sending the plan via email, copying the plan to Google Earth, or sending the plan to the drill. Since we want to send this for review, we want to select Send Mail. When Send Mail is selected, Field Scout will compile five attachments in the email. This includes a beat.bplx file, which is the bore plan that can be emailed and pulled up by other Field Scout users, a PDF which is the plan and as-built information in a PDF format, a .kml file, which is an XML format used to display data in Google Earth or Google Maps. This file is not created if your plan does not have valid GPS coordinates. A .csv file, which is a uh, comma separated value file that can be viewed in any spreadsheet program such as in Excel and an asbuilt.csv. This file contains the asbuilt data once it's been the bore has been completed and downloaded. For additional information on these file formats, go to the user manual located in help in the main menu. Now you can fill in the recipient email address and tap send. Be sure to go back to Subsite YouTube page for additional videos and tutorials on Field Scout Bull Planner. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to contact your local Ditchwitch dealer. Thanks for watching.